disc brakes have a place, but not in the freaking world tour. There aren't many problems on a bike which are more frustrating than having your brakes rubbing. We've got one here with exactly that problem. Now we're on cycling news over here and Ghana DQ'd from Tour de la Province for going for the windbreak bike. This is insane. This is 2022. What a year it is. We've got mandates on disc brakes. We've got mandates on experimental drugs. We've got all sorts of things going on out here in the world. Uh, this is hilarious. So let's just go straight to the comments because you already know what's going to happen. Basically, for those who don't, Ghana was going for GC in the Tour de Provola province. You know, he won the opening prologue on a rim brake bike and he's, you know, mandated coercion into ride a disc brake bike. And then someone in Team Sky, Ineos, is like, hey, let's just give him a freaking rim brake bike. Let's maximize the marginal gains here. Why would the team, based on marginal gains, want to go disc brakes? You know what I mean? Like, who's the guy who bankrolls the team? Does he... Does he have to get on his knees to impress the sponsors at Pinarello who are getting their frames from China just like everyone else? He does. I mean, it's like, just give the freaking team that's famous for marginal games the very best product, you know, which is going to be rim brake in today's world of freaking cyclocross bikes with 25 mil tubular road bike tires on there. Um, let's go straight to the comments here. Let's go straight to the comments because this is hilarious. This is hilarious. There was one down here. Um, I've been banned from commenting here so we can't do any comments so we have this one here someone says how much do they think he would have gained from 300 gram weight saving absolute nonsense so this guy here hector again not hating just saying hector's got no idea of how cutthroat and close what you know your weight is everything obviously power as well but you know if you're i should say your watts per kilo is everything so if you can save 50 grams you save 50 grams as long as your bike's you know above the 6.8 kilo you want to be 6.8000 on the money if you want to you know get your best watts per kilo every gram matters every gram matters someone said here 300 gram calculates to 30 seconds on that climb at 350 watt you know give or take disc brakes penalty closer to four to five hundred grams correct you know it's hilarious um and then they'll oh penny realize they're heavy but it doesn't matter the weight of the frame what matters is the total weight of the bike and especially the wheels, all right? When you add disc brakes to wheels, you've got that rotor, you've got the aero drag, the extra spokes. You can feel it, man. It just feels crap on a road bike. Um, and it, so this is a guy, guy called Greg says, numerous disc brake bikes are under 6.8 kilo. It, can anyone link me to a GCN video or any, any actual proof, Greg, you know, whoever Greg is, can you back up your claim with some video proof of a world tour disc brake bike at 6.8 kilo you can't because it hasn't happened yet can you make a disc brake under 6.8 for sure will it be safe and ride good quality <laughs> next question so ala philippe's 52 centimeter sl7 is is under 6.8 kilo under 6.8 kilo well let's go to the fact here um let's go to the fact here this is ala philippe's bike this has got a website here dmcx this guy looks like a bit of a bike geek which is great me too and he's got the stats down here, 7.3 kilos. And where did he get this data from? GCN. And where'd they get data? Their data from the Park Tool TS1 scale where they actually picked up Alaphilippe's race bike and weighed it, 7.3 kilos. Sometimes it's 7.4. Just saying, maybe with lighter wheels, 7.2. So these this people out there spreading this fake news that World Tour riders are riding 6.8 kilo disc brake bikes is absolute wank. The latest Dura Ace group set is heavier than the one from 20 years ago. I know, because I've got them both. I've got the 12 speed, which I'm gonna sell now, because I think it's junk, compared to you know, a 7800 group set or 7900, etc. So there you go, that's just that's just boom right there. And pen penalized, penalized. Now I understand why they got penalized, because then it's sort of a disadvantage if you're another team and you, you know, you're gonna there's gonna be all these bikes all over the course and logistics. Let's just freaking get rid of disc brake bikes, or let's get rid of rim brake bikes. When you have got the two, or you know, or you got to pick. I mean, again, disc brake bikes are dangerous. All right, anyone's ridden a disc brake bike at speed? I shouldn't say disc brake. I should say disc road with a twenty with a race tire at race psi, and you're grabbing a bit of brake after emergency brake. You are sliding out. You are crashing. Look at all the crashes now. You know. When you panic brake, which everybody does, there's no ABS in disc brakes. In F1, people panic brake. 
ABS kicks in. That's what ABS is for, for the panic break, which the human brain always does. You panic break with discs, you're locking out, see you later. That's why we see so many World Tour riders with crashes. And you have these Muppets in the comment section. Whoa, da, 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 da. <laughs> these people have never trained with the pro riders. They've never descended the speed. They've never raced at the speed. They've never, you know, they're just, they're just freaking Muppets who've bought a $20,000 bike and want to have the ego like, oh, but I, I can afford the very best. Dude, you got freaking suckered, man. Do you know how much they make the S-Works frame in China for? And how much did you pay for it? You got suckered. And that's okay if you enjoy riding it. You win there, but don't be going to say it's a better product because it ain't. Uh, it ain't. I know. I, I've owned all these bikes. I've ridden them all. Marketing works. The marketing spin is rife. So, and that's okay. Ride the bike that you want to ride, but don't be saying it's better when it isn't. All right, because you just sound like a fool. Rim brake, ro- rim brakes for the win. Disc for dirt. Disc for e-bikes. Disc for fat tires. When you got a twenty-five mil tubular or a twenty-five mil tubeless ride road r- race. PSI, and you got disc brakes and high speed and big packs, close, close, tight knit sardine can bunch riding. You got so many crashes happening, and so many pros. I, I get the feedback, man. He's dangerous out there now, Harley. He's more dangerous than ever before because of these stupid disc brakes.